Hi, um, okay, so this is a demo video to show you how to use the form interface, in particular how to set up a profile. So some of you are consultants and may want to help out on the forum and maybe drum up some business. So here's how you can do it. Alright, so once you're logged in, you hover over metallurgical discussion and you go into well let's first let's look at your profile so I got test user number two profile is empty got nothing in there now edit profile okay so personal information so my name is test user you can enter a family name um, test tester tester brown and the city is let's say Toronto Canada update I'm going to open see live here what happens another tab and I'll see on my profile you got a map that's appeared now about me I am a A rubber salesman. Okay. Your job title, boss, specialty, liners, school, big school. Okay, and then this email is an email that you want others to see. That's public. My email at email.com. Then here you could upload a, um, okay, so let's just save this. Okay, see what it looks like. I see all that has appeared. I'm a rubber salesman. Has appeared here. So this this is a spot where you can can put anything you want that relates to what it is you do, what it is you're trying to offer. So if you give good answers and you're helpful, people will obviously look at your profile and be able to contact you and understand what it is you do. All right. So this here the profile header is if you want to change this image here so you would go browse I'm going to select one that I had prefabricated fake banner okay that should work now Okay, so if you're keen, you can put a profile of your choice, your business, your website, whatever. Okay, social network. Here you enter your LinkedIn profile. So, uh, I don't know. I don't have a, you know, so you would go LinkedIn, the whole thing, HTTP. Uh, let's let's look up for a fake LinkedIn profile. John Joe Brown LinkedIn. I'm sure, there's a Joe Brown on LinkedIn. There you go. There's a Joe Brown on LinkedIn. Okay. Oh, you may not like it, but anyways, we won't do that. That's what you would do. You would enter the LinkedIn address here. 
okay the Facebook the Twitter your website my consultingco.com and your Google Plus if you have it update let's kill Joe Brown update so you see what it'll do okay this is your LinkedIn somebody would click on LinkedIn and it would go to Joe Brown okay and you got it's clickable to your website okay or oh, you're on social tabs now obviously password is where you can change your password all right so on the privacy you want to get email notifications of mail messages you want you want to get notifications of forum uh, activities you want to be visible in the directory this is the directory do you want to be visible in that uh, do you want others to see who your private messaging buddies are your friends or do you want this to be private me personally I have it on just me right. um, who can see your profile information well if you're a consultant and you want to be seen you want all members to see it but maybe you're a private guy you don't want anybody to know anything about you so you just go just me all right but in general this would be all members so then you update so yeah I guess that's the story now let's say um, I go to the main forum Um, and I um, I look in the I look in the in the directory like my 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 test user um, does not have any posts okay so I'm test user two now I would like to talk to uh, test user one so here's an example I'm I'm on the forum. Let's go to one of mine where I have a I've got a reply. So let's see somebody wants to talk to me outside. Contact me for consultancy or whatever. So that's my profile. Then my test user two needs to ask permission to private message me okay so you would do this now I get a notification okay and I need to approve it but now let's fake that test user one wants to talk to test user two he would ask to make friends okay Right. so let's look at what the profile of test user one looks like it looks like nothing he's got nothing in there but there's a private message request pending okay so I have user number one over here now let's refresh user number one see there's a new alert here okay. there's a friendship request And so that means that test number one, number test test user number two wants to talk to me. To test number one, user number one. So I can accept or reject. You don't want to talk to so and so, you just reject. That's it. So I would accept. Now my test user number two 
on his panel it shows now that test user number one is one of his friends okay now let's say test user number two wants to initiate a conversation okay so you'd go private messaging compose a message recipient so in his recipient list you can only well, only those who are pre-approved to private message will appear so there hello can you help me send okay and if I refresh we're on the minute that you log in come on the website and log in you'll have another notific notification you have an alert you've received a message from test user number two you go look at that yes I can so okay and if I go back there's a reply okay so please use this to request paid consultancy or anything that you want to remain private but I encourage you to hold all technical conversations on the forum for everybody's benefit okay I mean if you're helping somebody but you can help them on the forum please do that on the forum so that it adds value to the whole community if you want to discuss your fees or um, other things that's relevant to a direct consultancy and things you want to keep private that's where you would hold it or in your own email after you've you've initiated this okay now let's say um, it's not turning up with uh, test user number one um, if anybody is a spammer I want you to tell me okay if anybody is misbehaving in this I want to know so you can email me um, so you don't want to hear from test user number one no more cancel PM now he can't bug you unless he ask again right so then also in the alerts there's no new alerts but there's old alerts then you delete your old alerts if you want okay so to get these alerts you can select to have them come into your email or they're just here when you come all right so i hope this helps you and um, welcome to 911 metallurgist and i hope you can all give value and take value